Hello friends. Today we will understand a profitability ratio known as return on equity or ROE. It denotes the efficiency with which the management is utilizing its shareholders funds that is the owners equity as well as the reserves and surplus to generate profits from the company. Thus, the higher the ratio, the more efficient is the company in utilizing its equity and thus generating a higher return for its investors. The return on equity of different companies varies from different sectors cannot be compared together since it shows a major variation which means you can't compare an FMCG company with a power company or a shipping company with a plastic company comparison is always done within the same industry hence the formula is restricted to different companies under the same sector so let's do a case study for three stocks under the same sector which means we will do a relative valuation to understand which company among those three is a better return generator for the shareholders or the investors of the company so we will analyze marico hindustan unilever and godrej consumer all in the fmcg segment to understand which generates high return on equity or roe where return means net profit and equity means total equity or owners equity and reserves and surplus or the shareholders funds therefore the formula for it is return on equity is equal to net profit divided by the total equity into 100 net profit can be ascertained from profit and loss statement and total equity from the balance sheet statement if possible we will always take the consolidated numbers wherever possible So let's see the consolidated net profit of Marico. We have taken profit and loss balance sheet statement from the consolidated balance sheet of March 2018. So we see that the net profit of Marico is rupees 827 crores and the total equity is 2542 crores. Therefore, according to the formula, the return on equity is net profit divided by equity and 200 which gives us a value of 34.12% ROE similarly we calculate the ROE of Hindustan Unilever so net profit of Hindustan Unilever is 5227 crores and total equity is 7281 crores according to March 2018 balance sheet therefore according to the formula net profit divided by total equity in 200 gives us a value of 74.85% ROE again Net profit of Godrej Consumer from March 2018 balance sheet shows us that it's rupees 1633 crores and total equity is rupees 6258 crores therefore according to the formula net profit divided by total equity in 200 we get our return on equity as 28.25% therefore after analyzing all these companies we can see that Hindustan Unilever is the one which is running its business most efficiently and thus making a high return on equity so now what if we can get these data without calculation in a flicker of a second it would be great right thus we get all these data here in stock edge app under the fundamentals tab so we click on the stocks and we come to godrej consumer when we click on the fundamental there and the ratios what we find that the return on equity is 28.25 thus when you see on any other company also like hindustan unilever when we click on the fundamental and on the ratios then we see that the return on equity is 74 so when you click on any of these tabs you will understand what is the return on equity of any of the company so the ratio tab here will give us the data within few seconds and thus help in your decision making thus is it not easy for us so trade right and sit tight with our app to more in detail about this ratio you can visit our website blog.stockage.com thank you